in html5 today we'll talk about uh, file handling and in file handling there are certain type of file handling uh, it may be binary it may be read as a text a blob so we are going to talk about binary and text today this is uh, how our program looks or the web page looks or a script looks this is file handling uh, we can load a binary file binary file is that file in which the content is in bytes in bytes so we can choose a file and this file can be read like this or another you can have and in this particular text uh, file handling the content of the file will be text means characters the content will be written in characters not in bytes so if we choose a file you can see that these are the characters you can see the numbers and uh, alphabets and special characters dot and also the white spaces can be seen here also one more file ha i have and dog names docs.txt so we are going to see how this can be made because this is now and these are now uh, most integral part of uh, web pages nowadays you need to have a image uh, now and then and to load certain file so let's uh, get started let me open this file in notepad plus plus and we'll start with our html code this html code means we have html we have html body and a head so this is head this head we have ended and the body so in the body part this designing has been done so this is h1 means file handling and there are two sections one section is this for our binary file loading and the other section is text file loading so this section named as binary file section and this section is named as text file section okay so first of all this label load binary file this is a label and this input this input is the type is file the id is the binary file on change on change when you change when you change here the change will call a function that function is called on load binary file that we have defined and uh, you know kept in script of the head part of the html so we are going to discuss that in a short while this on load binary file so this function will be called we are going to look at and uh, followed by the id of the image and the styling will be width and height this width and height is in your hand you can change it as per your convenience of your web page designing now coming to this area the this section basically the section name is text file section we have a label load text file this particular thing and the, the input type is the file and the on change the on change has called on load text file on load text file is the function which has been defined here and we are going to talk about this also in a short while and finally this text area is the message area this is the message area it has certain rows certain columns and this can also be changed now coming to this binary let's go to the function which is written in the script uh, tags and this is the binary file okay this is the function i'm going to talk about this is the function so on load binary file the element id is the binary file this is the binary file okay the uh, the get element id so the file em elem the file element this file element is important this file element have a, is the variable which is connected to this particular the binary file content or control and this is which is actually accepting the files so what we are going to do is we are going to check for when the loading will be done if any error is there and finally the reading this is an important part this is which i'm going to emphasize on but before that we'll check that if the files are numbered means they are one or zero so if, if uh, they are only one then the type has to be matched what is the type it has to be image it has to be image that is 
what we can see here and then the variable we have made reader and on that this is very important we are creating a file reader and this file reader on load will create a function and it will get an element id as the image this image and the source is also targeted and finally if error is there this error will uh, you know have a result from this function which says can't load binary file this is be this has been shown to the user so this is error this is on load but the basic reading is done here this reader object which we have made will call a function called read as data url and the function passes the function the file which has been selected by the user this file element this file element is important this file element and this is the first file zero because this, this is an array you can have more than one file that can be selected so read as data url you know the crux of this particular lesson or the video is this function read as data url and finally the er error means um, select binary file if this does not materialize same counterpart is here read as text but i'll come to this i'll start from this 28th line on load text file now the user is going to select the text file what it is going to do same way it will go to the element and will create a file element this file element will check whether one and the type is text now the file is not image the text it has to check it is text now it will go inside and the reader object will on load on error and finally the read as text so on load this particular thing will be loaded loaded means the file will be loaded where in this area and if some error is there it will be reported and if everything goes fine the reading will be done and read as text has two uh, function parameters whereas the read as data url means binary reading has only one input and what the input is only the file but here the input is file also and some number also this is the iso number this is actually uh, a default for uh, the type of content you need means the language you, you need if you have special language you have to give like this but if it is not then you can give only utf8 this is the default or you don't give it it will take by itself and finally an error so hopefully you have understood that how to load a text file how to load a binary file again we'll go to our program we load some other image and dog name we can choose some cat name and this is a binary file and this is a text file thank you so much take care